Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Kia in Ewing, New Jersey to check out this all new refreshed design on this 2024 Kia Seltos. This is the S trim, which is now one up from the base trim. So we're gonna check this out, see what this 2024 Seltos is all about, see what it brings to the table in this subcompact SUV segment. So let's dig in. All right, so we're at the front end of this steel gray Kia Seltos for 2024. And you can see the front end change here on the 2024 Seltos compared to 2023. The first thing I want to point out, which I'm not in love with, is there's no LED headlights or fog lamps. I like the fact that there's fog lamps, but I think LED for 2024 is going to be the way to go rather than standard bulbs but we do have LED daytime running lamps, but standard bulbs for turn signals, headlights, and fog lamps. I like the new design of the grill, where we have that chrome coming across the top, chrome sneaking in on either side. These would be the daytime running lamps if I didn't have the headlights on. And then we have this new shaped tiger nose grill, with, which looks good with more chrome down below. And underneath, we got a skid plate. In case you want to take this off-road, but overall, a really nice looking refresh here on the front end of this Seltos. Now I've moved the car over to a darker area of the parking lot to get it out of the sun to give you that look of that new daytime running light, which looks really, really cool. And check that out. We have it coming up this way and then across the bottom. Looks really, really modern, really, really good. Love what they did with the daytime running lamp here on this Seltos. Wheel and tire set up on this Seltos. We have a 17 inch Gunmetal gray wheel, Kia badge in the center, nice design, standard brake and rotor package. We have all season tires. These are Kumho, all seasons. 215 on the width of 55 series sidewall 17s, all four corners, all wheel drive. All right, full side profile, the steel gray and the flat black work well together. Now they got new colors for 2024. Unfortunately, steel gray isn't one of them. Steel gray has been in the Kia lineup as a color forever, but it still looks good against that flat black around the wheel wells and down on the door sills. Still looks like that Seltos that came out a few years ago. We still have that nice hard body line coming over the rear door handles and into the tailgate. So overall, I think it's a very handsome looking uh, subcompact SUV. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As we move in closer, as I mentioned, we have the flat black on the wheel arches plays off well against that gray we are color matched on the side view mirror with led turn signal color matched on the front and rear door handle left side fuel filler cap up top color matched roof with shark fin antenna we have a combo of flat black and brushed aluminum on the roof rails and then this one does not have a sunroof all right the rear end of this seltos we have a nice roof spoiler coming off the top. The windshield wipers down below on the gas, on the glass. Kia badge in the center. Seltos on the left. 4X, four all-wheel drive on the right side of the tailgate. What I do like is this LED tail light action that comes from over here and wraps around all the way through on either side and kind of meets right before it gets to the Kia badge. So I think that's a nice touch. Not sure if you can see the lighting lit up right now with the way the sun's hitting the car and the camera, but it does look pretty cool. We have standard bulbs for turn signals. Down below, gloss black with some skid plate action underneath there as well. Your backup lights are down below on the uh, e either side of the tailgate. But overall, again, a very nice looking rear end and a nice job with the lighting on the back, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, under the hood of the Seltos, what do we have here? We have a two liter, naturally aspirated, inline four cylinder engine, made it to a CVT transmission, 146 horsepower, 132 pound feet of torque, MPGs, 27 in the city, 31 on the highway, 29 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87. So you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior of this 2024 Seltos S all-wheel drive, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this vehicle cost? Well, 
the MSRP for the Seltos S trim before options for 2024 is 26,490. Now this vehicle only has two options from factory, carpeted floor mats for 175 and the cargo tray for 140. You add in the destination and handling of 1,325 and you have a total factory MSRP of $28,130. Now the dealer has gone ahead and added a couple of accessories. They've added the wheel locks for 161 and the all weather floor mats for an additional 225. So the total asking price for this vehicle on the lot today is $28,516. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. There are those dealer added all season mats that say Seltos on them. Seats, well, we have manual seats for the driver and front passenger. The S trim, one up from the bottom trim. I can't expect to have power on an S trim, so I'm cool with the manual seats. And now we have black cloth with a dark gray insert. Looks nice. Actually, this isn't cloth, excuse me. This is their leatherette type material here, then with the cloth insert. So now we got it right, sorry about that. Nice soft headrest with the stitching, dark gray stitching against the black down here. So it's really nice for a base level interior. It's really quite nice. All right, as so we get to the door panel on this Seltos, again, we are one up from base. So we have hard plastic up top on the door, no soft touch. We have the, the uh, gloss black plastic around the brushed aluminum door handle, flat black on the switch gear, a semi-soft armrest with soft touch material and stitching. So I do like that. As we come over here, we have soft touch up here on the top of the dash. Carbon flash metallic is what this is. Looks really cool. There is a design in it, if, you, if I zoom in really close. So it is a pretty cool design on that. And then down below, we have hard plastic with a nice large glove box. I've also liked what they did and how they've taken this trim and they've angled it in to the new updated heat and air vent over on that side. Gives it a little bit more style, a little bit more flair, which I do like. As we come in here to the infotainment system, what are we looking at? This is Kia's 10.25 inch infotainment system. Wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto. Do we have a touch screen? Yes, we do. We just tap it to wake it up and it's nice and responsive. Dual panel action, yes we do. So that's a nice touch, but again, Kia, 2024 now, we need wireless CarPlay and Android Auto capability with these larger screens. Everybody else has got this going on. I mean, in my, when I, I mean I'm sure it's not everybody, but almost all car makers in their screens have the navigation combined with wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. I've been saying this for a year now, Kia and Hyundai need to get on the ball with, with these larger screens and get this wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto going on here. But we have our four-way hazards, two heat and air vents, and here are the hard controls down here by your single zone climate control for the navigation screen and for your setup on your infotainment system. So you can Bluetooth your phone, configure your profiles, you got your Kia Connect going, you got your general settings where you can adjust your date and time and language and all that good stuff. And then you have your vehicle settings where you can go in and actually take a look and adjust how you want your climate to work. But you can also do that stuff down below. So I like the redundancies as well. So that's a nice touch. And then we can go back to to the home, which is what it looks like here, but I like to leave it on map. So we just hit map. Go back to map. Now, backup camera, nice and clear with trajectory. No issues there. We don't obviously don't have 360 degree view camera in a Seltos S, but it is a nice clear camera. Down further, we have an area for storage up top, a 12 volt, a USB-A and a USB-C. So they got you covered for connectivity, more storage in there. Here's the gear shift to go through the simulated gears of the CVT. Here's your drive modes, which we'll show you when we go through the dash. We have three-stage heated seats for the driver and front passenger. 
We have our parking cameras there if you want to turn them on using that button. Center diff lock and hill descent control. Down further, you have a manual emergency brake, two cup holders, Kia key fob, lock, unlock, panic button, remote start, nice weight. And then you have some soft touch, even though it's not that soft, with stitching, open it up, nice area for storage. Kia steering wheel, nice steering wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches, Kia badge on the horn button, flat black on the switch gear, telephone voice commands on the left, your cruise control and safety suite controls on the right. On the stalks, we have our controls for our headlights and fog lamps, and then on the right, your front and rear wiper, no paddles in this Seltos. Down on the left, brighten and dim the dash. There's your engine auto stop start on off. I always have that off. Traction control off. This is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then we have the 10.25 inch digital dash here in this Seltos S. So I like the fact that they're bringing a digital dash in no trim that's one up from base. I think that's a good idea. I think that provides some value. And now when we go through our drive modes, we have our normal mode and everything changes, sport mode, everything changes, and smart, which is a combination of normal and, and sport, depending on how you're driving. So those are the three drive modes. Looks pretty cool. And then you can also go through additional information on the inside of the display as well that you may want to see while you're going down the road. And each one of these has submenus you can go into. So it's a really nice, easy to use digital dash. And I, I appreciate Kia for putting this in to this S trim Seltos. All right, overhead console action. We don't have a sunroof, but I can show you that if this button's pushed in with the orange light on, you open up the door, there's your LED interior lighting popping on. And then when you close the door, it pops off. So we have LED lighting on the inside of the vehicle, but we don't have LED headlights. I wish we had them both because I think the LED headlights, that's a safety issue, and I really think they should be on all vehicles. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. But then we go to the sun visor, and then we have vanity, no light. And does it slide? No, it does not. That's too bad. All right, back seat action in the Seltos S. I have the seat set for my driving position, so we'll jump in. Nice and easy to get in because we have that boxy shape. We have the uh, cloth here in the back with the stitching. We do have plastic all the way down. No seat pocket behind the driver. No seat pocket behind the front passenger. I think we need to have at least one back here. Let me know what you think. Center console action. We have two heat and air vents and two USB-Cs with a storage area like the Cs here in the back. Thank you, Kia. And then the back door panel. We have the same design here on the back door panel. Uh, as we do on the front, same use of materials. Here's the front door panel looking good. Here's the back door panel looking the same. So nice consistency of design by Kia here in the back. Back seats, same material. You have that uh, leatherette and then you have your cloth insert. Nice headrests, looks good. And then center armrest, nice and soft, two cup holders. So a nice job back here by Kia. And then, of course, you also have your dome lighting back here in the back seat. And that is LED as well. So they got you covered there. But a nice, comfortable place to be here in the back of the Seltos. All right, rear tailgate area. You can come to the back, and there's a button to push to open up the tailgate. It's really easy. <laughs> Just come to the back. The button is right here on the right underneath the A in Kia. And then you lift up. No electric assist on the S trim, but the the tailgate's nice and light. Plenty of room for those large uh, for the in, uh, for space here in the back of this Seltos with the rear seats up. Here are the carpeted floor mats. Here's the carpeted cargo cover, and then we have a spare underneath. So thank you, Kia, for the spare. And now. To get the rear seats down, we don't have any lighting. We don't have any power back here. Uh, not surprising in the S trim, but now we come to back, take those seats down, you just push that up and push them down. Push that up, throw them down. And now you have even more space for those really large items. And since it's a squared off shape, you have a lot of height as well. So nice use of space here in the back by Kia.
All right, here's the window sticker for this 2024 Seltos S. We're going to zoom in. Try to give you every all the action here on this Seltos as far as your standard equipment. Options, like I said, just a couple. And then our total MSRP from the factory. And then we have to add in those accessories, like I mentioned, that the dealer installed. Total asking price. Let's take it out for a spin. All right, so we are out on the road in this 2024 Kia Seltos S with the all-wheel drive. So first things first, plenty of visibility out the front windshield, side glass, side view mirrors, and rear glass. No issues there. I got the safety suite in here, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz in this Seltos. So that's a nice touch here in the one up from base trim on this subcompact SUV. So you see all the ads on TV for the Kia Seltos. We've upgraded the power. We've upgraded the power on this vehicle. Well, they have, but to get that upgraded power, you got to move up in trims to either the X line, one up from the top trim, or the SX, the top trim to get that turbocharged 1.6 liter inline four that's gonna bring you 195 horsepower, 195 torque, and the eight speed auto. That's where you have to go. So you have to go X line or SX, which are the two top trim levels in the Seltos. All other trim levels up through EX will get this two liter naturally aspirated in line four with the CVT. So you got your economical drive line on most of your trims, and then you have the sportier drive line on the top two for 2024. Plus new colors, new color patterns. You got, two, they still kept the two tone action where you can have a black roof. But unfortunately this car came in the old standby steel gray. And the other one they got on the lot that hasn't been uh, PDI'd yet is Aurora Black. So they um, haven't sent out any of the new colors yet, but when we get those upper level trims with the additional horsepower, I'll be sure to, to make a video of one of those cars and bring it to you. And frankly, for 2024, 2024 um, I'm gonna try to do a video on every Seltos trim for you guys so you can see what you're gonna get in 2024, but just like Subaru bringing out their 2024 Crosstrek early, here in May of 2023, we have the 2024 Seltos brought out early by Kia. So not to let Subaru have this market all to itself, which I think was a smart move. But overall, the CVT transmission in this, in this driveline and the two liter, nice and smooth. They've done a nice job with these simulated gears to keep the revs down, to keep everything shifting smoothly. You know, people aren't going to be using this as a sports car. They're going to be using it to get from point A to point B, carry them, their family, their friends, their gear, wherever they need to go. So they're not going to need to worry about that 195 horsepower if they don't want to pay extra for it. And that's the nice thing about having such a wide bandwidth with the trim levels on the Seltos. And this economical driveline in here is just fine. I mean, the 146 horsepower gets the car up and moving. It's a very, car's very light on its feet. Most Kias feel and drive smaller than they are, and this one is no exception. Feels just fine. Love the value that Kia is bringing in the S trim, though, because you're, they're bringing the larger screen in 2024 digital instrument cluster in 2024, climate control, heated seats, USB-C action in 2024 in the, the trim that's one up from base. And I think that's providing great value. The only thing I would like to see them add to this 
would be just be LED headlights because I, as I said earlier, I just think LED headlights should be on every car because I think it's a safety issue. Uh, but, and then of course your wireless car plan Android Auto, Kia and Hyundai are still using wired in their larger screens and they're gonna have to catch up. So here we are move, merging on the highway, piece of cake. Got right up to speed, no problem. Now I'm gonna overtake this car. Step on a little bit and off I go. So a really good response from this naturally aspirated two liter. So nice job on this economical driveline by Kia. It does its job and what it needs to do and it's gonna deliver some pretty decent gas mileage and the fact that you can also run this on regular gas I think is another value add for this Kia Seltos in this subcompact segment. I think this 2024 refresh is good. I think they, they've made it look more attractive on the front. Maybe not everybody's going to like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the front of the Seltos. And then in the back, I think they did, did some nice work. And on the interior with that carbon flash metallic, the new look on the dash with the new screens, the new trim, the new uh, climate control, and all that other stuff they have in here. I think they did a really nice job lifting this up and making it look more modern. Now, it's not like the Seltos was really old. It came out in 2021. So they did three model years, and then they went to the refresh, your model year number four, which is the 2024 year. And I think that makes good sense. And I think they really brought it up and made it ultra competitive and a big time value add in this segment. We're going to have to pull over here. I have an emergency vehicle coming up and I need to give them some space. Now off we go. And yeah, you know, this two liter is going to be a little noisy when you take off. That's just the way it is. But it quiets down as you get up and into the higher gears. But I think they're bringing a lot of good action here in this Seltos. Let me know what you guys think about this 2024 Seltos. Uh, I think they did a nice job with this refresh. Uh, but let me know what your opinion is. Are you looking at a subcompact SUV? Are you going Seltos? Or are you going to go Honda HRV? right Toyota Venza or Toyota RAV4 which is almost a compact might not be a fair comparison but let me know as far as price goes but let me know what you think uh, about this and how you would go with your hard-earned money we're going to start heading back to the dealership but I want to thank Sioka Kia here in Ewing New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Kia Seltos S all-wheel drive for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.